SolidWorks is a commonly used tool for creating point of sale displays. Designers need the ability to create display stands complete with visuals and manufacturing information, which can be easily modified at the client's request. In this video, we'll take a look at how we can use SolidWorks to create this cardboard display stand, as well as its manufacturing drawings and photorealistic renders. Because we are making the display stand out of cardboard and folding it into shape, we can use the sheet metal tool set in SolidWorks. This means we will be able to create the display stand in the folded state and flatten it at the click of a button. We begin by sketching the side profile of our display stand and using the base flange tool to define the thickness of sheet and extrude depth. I'm actually just creating half of the display stand at this stage so I can mirror it later on. Now the main base flange is complete, I'll add in the side using the edge flange tool. This allows me to choose whether the flange is taken from the inside or outside. And as you can see, I can easily adjust the profile of the flange to the desired shape. I now take an edge flange from the bottom edge of my model. I'll sit the bent outside for clearance. I can relate the shape of my current flange to the previous flange, so it's always the correct size and shape if change occurs. I'll continue adding flanges, relating my new flanges to the geometry of existing flanges when necessary. That's the side done. Now for the front and back. Again, this will be a similar process to before. I simply use the edge flange tool to create my flanges, choosing the relevant bend positions, relating my new flanges to the existing geometry and adjusting the shape of the flanges where necessary. We want the display stand to hold itself together. Therefore, we need to add some tabs and slots to our design. We have a tab and slot tool in SOLIDWORKS that allows us to easily create multiple slots and tabs and equal space them along the length of an edge. That's half of my design complete. I can now take my design and mirror it to complete the main stand. This ensures it's always symmetrical at this point of the design. All that's required now are some additional slots and tabs so it holds itself together. And as mentioned at the beginning of the video, we can flatten this at the click of a button. Now to create the insert, I can design this around the main stand. Again, it's just a case of sketching out the main profile, relating it where necessary. For its width, I'll relate it to the internal faces of the main stand, such that if we decide to change the stand's width, the inserts will change to suit also. Again, we need to add some tabs and slots such that it can hold itself in place. We finish off our display stand by creating our fascia panel, complete with tabs and slots. And that's the model complete. As you can see, I can change the width, height and depth dimensions and the model updates nicely. Now we're happy with the design, we can export all the flat patterns to DXF or DWG in just a few clicks. We can also produce manufacturing drawings with all the key dimensions placed on our drawing views. Now onto the visuals. This is a display stand for crisps. A plain grey display stand will not be very compelling for your client. Therefore, we will apply a red appearance. Decals can be added so you can place graphics on your design, such as your client's logo. All this is required is an image, such as a PNG or a JPEG file. Bringing the design into the assembly, I can populate the box with product. Patterning tools allow me to quickly populate my display stand with multiple instances of the product. When I'm happy, I can export the product into SOLIDWORKS Visualize to create a photorealistic render. A little fine tuning of my scene is required and I'm ready to publish. It looks great. So we've created our display stand complete with manufacturing information and photorealistic renders. If you would like to see in more detail how the display stand was created, follow this link for the tutorial video. We're just scratching the surface of SOLIDWORKS capabilities for point of sale design. So if you would like to see more, please contact our sales team for a personal demonstration. Alternatively, check out our website or YouTube channel for more content.